Hi, my name is Bonnie Barker, and today I want to demonstrate to you a stitch called the Waddle Stitch. I actually am using this to design um, a lot of new designs coming out, um, expected in the fall of 2016, so you might want to be looking out for those. Um, to begin, I'm going to start with a row of 24 chains, um, or to do this stitch you really need a multiple of 3. I guess it's a multiple of three because then you have one extra for the last stitch plus a chain two so that it just turns out to be a straight multiple of three. Okay, I'm using a size J crochet hook and I'm using Red Heart Soft Yarn for any of those interested. But this can be worked with any, any size yarn or hooks. Okay, I'm going to single crochet in the third stitch from the hook. So one, two, three. I'm going to crochet a single crochet. I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to work a double crochet in the same chain. Okay. Now I'm going to skip two chains, one, two, and I'm going to do that again in the third stitch. I'm going to single crochet, oops, one stitch, chain one, and then I'm going to double crochet all in the same chain. I'm going to do that across the row. Skip two, and in the third chain, I'm going to single crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. This makes a really, really good um, fabric that helps to contrast it with the cabling. Um, it really helps the cables to to pop a little more and it also it just gives it a different crocheted look you know rather than the standard all double crochet or all single crochet or you know there's nothing wrong with either of those but you know uh, I, I for one kind of like something a little different just to just to shake things up a bit to change it up a bit too okay now I come to the last three stitches and you see one two and then the last stitch I'm going to single crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Okay, let me speak about a couple of options here. Now had I wanted another stitch for another single crochet, I could have added another. Um, and that would make the sides even if the, if, as the fabric is crocheted. Um, if you don't do that, I'm going to show you what happens. You end up with a nice little little zigzag ridge which I kind of like and that's that's the way I'm going to demonstrate this today. Okay to turn we're going to chain two. We're going to turn and as we work across this row we are only going to work in the chain one made with each cluster or, or each waddle stitch. So do you see see this each chain one we're going to skip the single crochet and double crochet only work in the chain ones it's, it's really quite a simple stitch but you, you do have to have you know the the feel for it and be able to feel where that space is so i'm going to single crochet chain one and double crochet i'm going to skip the single crochet and the double crochet and in the next chain one space i'm going to chain one i'm sorry single crochet chain one and then double crochet again skip the single crochet and the double crochet find the hole where that chain one stitch is and it, it's quite a defined space it's easy to you know usually if you use your your senses with your two fingers here you can you know find it right away and kind of guide the hook right in there and and muscle memory takes over and it becomes quite an easy relaxing stitch. Okay, find the hole, single crochet, chain one, and the double crochet. Get the single crochet, double crochet, look for the chain one space. Okay. And two more to go. Mm 
Now this is where you can get two different effects. Okay, if I just skip the chain two down here at the beginning, I'm going to just turn and then I'm going to do it all over again. Um, find the hole. Now the first, first time you're just going to skip the double crochet because there's no single crochet to skip. Single crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Okay, um, let me back this up a little bit and show you what would happen if you didn't want that zigzag edge. I, and I'll show you examples with both. Okay, what you can do is come back and find that first chain one stitch and just simply single crochet in that stitch and then chain two and turn and begin the waddle stitch again. Chain one, I'm uh, sorry, single crochet, chain one and then double crochet. Okay, and this will give you a nice, a nice even edge. Okay, well that's the waddle stitch. Um, the other thing I want to tell you about this is it is uh, reversible. It doesn't have a front side or a back side, which is really, really handy in crochet. Well, anyway, I hope this blesses you. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.